Hey guys, what is up? In today's video, I am just going to be showing you how I got this super easy look that I tend to go to when I just want something that's pretty neutral and that I can combine with pretty much any type of clothing. This is it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. So the first thing that I'm going to grab is going to be my Cetaphil Lotion. This is a super thick consistency and it's great for my dry skin. Now I cannot forget my dry lips neither, so I am going to be applying some really moisturizing lip balm. So guys remember that I always list all the products that I use down in the description. For my eyebrows, I grab my Anastasia Dip Brow and I use the color Medium Brown. To clean up my brows and make them look a little bit more sharper, I just love to grab some concealer. This one is the Fit Me by Maybelline. It is the lightest shade, which I think is 15 fair, if I'm not mistaken. And I just apply this just on my brow arch and I just blend it out. To prime my eyes, I go in with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. This is the anti-aging one and I apply this all over my lid, up to my brow bone and under my eyelids. Today I'm going to be using the Too Faced and Kat Von D collab palette. It is a super cute heart shaped palette which is actually detachable like such. And I'm going to be using the Kat Von D shade. It's called Pure Vita I think it's called. And then this is just a white eyeshadow that I'm going to be using as a highlight for my brow arch. Now the palette didn't bring any brown shades so I swapped it in really quickly for my Anastasia Modern Renaissance and I got this shade which I did not see the name but remember it is done in the description or just rewind the clip 20 seconds ago and I am going to be applying this on my crease. Then I'm going to be grabbing this super light color called BFF from the Too Faced section and I'm applying this on the lid. Then I'm going to go back a little bit and just go into the Anastasia palette once again getting the color Cypress Umber and just darken it up a little bit the outer corners. So now I'm going to be curling my lashes with my Tarte Eyelash Curler. And I am going to be trying out the full-size tube of mascara that the collaboration brought, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. In my opinion, it is an okay mascara. It does its job of being an, a mascara, but it's, you know, it's not anything special. I did apply some falsies, of course. And now I'm just going to be going on with some of my professional to hide my pores because they are pretty enlarged recently. So I gotta hide those suckers. I'm gonna be priming with my Estee Lauder Illuminating Perfecting Primer. This is just gonna be going onto my cheeks, my temples, and my forehead. I'm gonna be going in with my NARS Full Coverage Foundation. I mean, I pretty much use this foundation in every video. I'm obsessed. And I am going to be applying this everywhere that I have acne. And FYI, I usually do run this foundation down to my neck. But I didn't in this video because I've been breaking out of my neck recently and I've been treating my neck with some acne medication so I am just avoiding that area temporarily. I'm going to be brightening my under eyes with my Babyling Concealer in Light and I'm also going to be highlighting my face such as my chin, nose and forehead and I'm blending all of this out with my damp beauty blender. I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Loose Powder and I'm going to be applying this everywhere that I applied concealer. After I baked for around 10 minutes, I'm going to go in with a small brush and I'm just going to be dusting away all of that excess powder. I used to use a big brush, like the one from Bareface, I think it is. It's, I don't know, that brand. And I don't know, I just prefer the small brush now, but to each their own. I'm going to be using, of course, my trusty Naked Flush palette, and I'm going to be using the blush and the highlight on my face. For everyday looks, I don't usually contour or bronze up my face anymore. Now I'm just going to be finishing off the eyes with applying some mascara on my lower lashes. 
Now I'm going to be applying my Jordana lip liner. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of my Sephora Love Life lipstick. And over that, I'm going to be applying my Smashbox Jewel Lip Gloss. And with that, the entire look is completed. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in my next one. Mm -hmm.